What's going on guys? It's Sparks here and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm doing a sort of a part two to how to fix uh, a strict NAT on Xbox One. So um, the first video has done amazing. We're getting like 14,000 views, 160 likes. Half of you have fixed the issue, half of you haven't. Um, so I'm here doing a part two sort of to try and clarify and help you guys try to figure out why you're still getting the strict net if that is still your problem so um, I'm gonna start off by going through some of the issues uh, that happen with uh, a strict net so uh, first off the most common reason why you're still getting a strict net is something called double NAT and uh, this happens when um, you pretty much get a modem uh, from your internet service provider and this modem you connect a wireless router to uh, now you find that you've done everything you can and nothing's happening like it doesn't work uh, a lot of the times what we don't know is that the modem that has been sent to you has a built-in NAT functionality. For example, some Motorola surfboard modems are able to simultaneously connect to up to 31 devices um, to the internet. Um, now a lot of this, what I'm saying, I'm quoting from a post that I found and I'm going to link this post in the description because uh, it's it's helping me relay this information to you um, but let's continue so a lot of modems have built-in net functionality and what the, what happens is is it doesn't allow you to forward ports on your modem it just does it automatically uh, we call these smart modems um, and in a sense to to resolve the issue you kinda want a dumb modem but uh, one of the ways we can fix this is um, you can configure your modem for bridging mode or pass-through mode. In most cases, you might need to call your internet service provider uh, as a lot of modems get custom firmware specifically made for your internet service provider. Um, if it is not possible to configure the modem or for bridging mode, try plugging the cable from your modem to the router into one of the LAN ports instead of the router's WAN port. That is the LAN ports instead of the router's WAN port. This way you circumvent the NAT routing of the WAN, uh, the WLAN router. So you circumvent the router from providing NAT. Um, so this might ease the situation. Um, if all else fails, um, you're probably going to need to go out and buy a stupid, non-NAT capable broadband modem. Uh, and that is if it's possible. If it's not, I'm not sure what you would do. Uh, now, if you're using your laptop as a wireless bridge to connect to Xbox Live, or to connect your Xbox to the router, which won't happen on the Xbox One, the only situation uh, where you would need this is if you don't have a wireless capabilities for your Xbox 360 which these days is impossible so let's move past that now a restrictive firewall or intrusion detected ugh, intrusion detection system in your router so most routers have a firewall running on them uh, and in some people's opinion, it's a simple marketing ploy uh, to get people to buy a modem. This may be true. I've never ever had to turn off a firewall, but most people say that it's okay. It's fine. As long as your computer has a firewall built in, which it does. Sometimes you have, um, what do you call it? Antivirus that has a firewall as well. So that, that makes it even better. Um, but 
The reason some people think this is because even if you turn the firewall off, the router itself still is a firewall uh, because you didn't specifically give the router uh, a port forwarding list. Uh, the router will still reject all unknown incoming traffic and the purpose of the firewall is to deny unintended traffic to your network. Uh, same goes for an intrusion detection system. Uh, intrusion, I can't say this word. Intrusion detection system. Uh, they do the same thing. Uh, the analogy here is um, you own a club um, and you're st okay, so you start up a multiplayer match with your friends and it's like owning a club and you tell one of your bouncers to let all your friends in um, but you tell the other bouncer to not let anyone in. Doesn't make sense, right? Uh, so your your router's job is to deny all incoming connections unless you tell it specifically on your port forwarding list to allow um, forwarding to a specific IP address. Um, and in the case of an Xbox One, um, there's no way to get malware or hacked or anything like that um, through the device itself. Um, now, let's move on to um, you have two or more consoles on the network at the same time. So, uh, let's say you have an Xbox 360 and you just bought an Xbox One. You've port forward the four ports for your Xbox 360 and you're trying to do the same ports for your Xbox One and now both have a strict net. Now, uh, the reason this is is because um, more than one device can't sh share the same port on your network. It just doesn't work that way. Now, uh, there's two ways to resolve this issue. That is, one, you can port forward the ports for your Xbox One and then put the IP address of your Xbox 360 in DMZ, which stands for Demilitarization Zone, or you can do port triggering. And what this will do uh, as you guys can see up here, port triggering. Let's see if I can get this to load. My router likes to be weird sometimes. Port triggering allows you to temporarily open data ports when LAN devices require unrestricted access to the internet. There are two methods for opening incoming data ports, port forwarding and port triggering. Port forwarding opens specific data ports for all all the time and devices must use a static IP whereas port triggering only opens the incoming ports when a LAN device requests access to the triggered ports. So what that means in layman's terms is when my Xbox 360 requests those ports it opens them for him. When my Xbox One asks for those ports it opens them but never at the same time. So when you're using your Xbox, it will work. When you're using, when that's off and you use your Xbox One, it will work as well. Um, now, <clears throat> beyond these, um, I'm really not sure how to help you, but I can say, um, I'm not sure if they've made this post for the Xbox One. This one is more geared towards the Xbox 360, but like I said earlier, if I said earlier, um, everything should be pretty much the same other than the ports you're forwarding. Um, hopefully this video is a solution to a lot of your problems. And I want to first off thank you guys for being so supportive and all the subscriptions, all the comments, all the likes all the views the views the views guys you guys are amazing uh, the views is just phenomenal um, so hopefully hopefully this works I know it's not the most you know interesting video I have here most of the time the screen didn't move to be honest um, but it was good to talk about things so hopefully this video helps I want to thank you guys all um, for your support likes comments subscribes are always always appreciated and i will see you guys later peace out